What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for Awesomeo.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Thursday, March 10th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comment section who your favorite plays are, and then go sign up at No House Advantage using the promo code Awesomeo. You can get yourself $25 on your first deposit. Now, we're rounding out the bottom of my top 10, James Harden. Jonathan Kaminga, Clay Thompson, Andre Drummond, and Tyrese Maxey on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today. It's time to find out. In first at number five, we're looking at Aaron Gordon. He's small forward, power forward eligible. 5,400, projected for 29. The goal is 39. He's in the optimal lineup 35% of the time. 31 minutes here for Aaron Gordon, a little over 0.9 fantasy points per minute. It's pace neutral against Golden State. It's a two and a half point line, so you expect this game to be competitive. My only worry is that this is the fourth game in five days for the Nuggets. Might be a little tired, we shall see. 14 points, six boards, two and a half assists, and a stock and a half for Gordon. He just makes for like a really easy, balanced play. He's going to play 30 minutes or more if it's competitive. He's in the mid five, so stars and scrubs or balance build is going to work for you. He's just a completely solid option for today. At number four, we get the first of three payoff options to go here. So that's going to get interesting. Kevin Durant, small forward, power forward eligible, 10,300. Projected for about 51. The goal is 66. He's in the optimal lineup 39% of the time. I gave Durant 38 minutes. This one should be competitive. They are four and a half point dogs, but it is a pace down spot. None of that matters on a two game slate. 1.33 fantasy points per minute here for Durant. 32% usage, 29 real points, eight and a half rebounds, five and a half assists, and two stocks. Look, if you want to tell me that Kevin Durant is the best play today, I'm not going to argue with you all that much. I'm going to have a lot of him one way or the other, but there are two other studs that I have my eye on, and they're a little bit easier to play on DK than they are on FanDuel. For example, tied with Durant here, that is center Nikola Jokic. Just center eligibility, 11,200. Projected for 60 and a half. The goal is 71. He's in the optimal lineup 39% of the time. I gave him 34 minutes. He's been insane over the past few games, and honestly, he's just been insane all season. 1.78 fantasy points per minute in this spot. That is ludicrous. 30% usage, 25 points, 15 rebounds, and 8 assists, plus 2 stocks. He's the best offensive player in basketball right now during the regular season. It's not particularly close. The fact that he's still getting into 39% of lineups when he only has center eligibility is pretty crazy. So while Durant matches him in odds of being in the optimal, just in general, Jokic would be a better play with a different position. But he's not at a different position. He's just center, which means those guys looking pretty equal. Changing flavors for this one, Moses Moody in at number two, 3,500, slightly different than Jokic and Durant. Shooting guard, small forward, so you also get him at guard, forward, and utility. Projected for 19 and a half. The goal is 29. He's in the optimal lineup 41% of the time. I gave Moody 28 minutes. He's a 0.7 fantasy point per minute guy. This is the value play that helps you unlock most of your payup options. 15% usage, 10 points, four and a half boards, an assist, and maybe a stock, maybe. But what we're looking here, what we're looking at in this one is the flexibility of five different positions and a $3,500 price tag on a guy that's been playing close to 30 minutes pretty regularly as of late. It seems like Golden State's really trying to work Moody into it. I'm assuming tonight isn't going to change anything. 28 minutes for Moody means he's going to be very popular as a value option. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments who your favorite plays are, and then sign up at No House Advantage using the promo code AWESOMO. Your final option for today is my final payup option. That is Joel Embiid. He is center eligible, 10,800, projected for 60, and the goal is 69. Nice in the optimal lineup 41% of the time. 36 minutes for Embiid, 1.67 fantasy points per minute, 37% usage, 33 and a half real points, 12 and a half rebounds, three assists, and basically three stocks. He gets a matchup against Brooklyn. Their defense is terrible. And just in case you forgot, 
Joel Embiid loves absolutely destroying Andre Drummond's confidence, so don't be afraid to go to Embiid just to see him work out on Andre Drummond. If you want to tell me that you prefer Jokic or prefer Durant, I don't think it's crazy. 41% and 39% are not all that different. But today, unquestionably, you're going to want to work your way through all three of those pay-up options. At least one of them is going to be in an optimal, maybe two. Right now, though, Joel Embiid is at number one. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Thursday, March 10th. FanDuel version of this video is around here somewhere. Check it out. Good luck, everybody. Win some money. We're closing out the work week strong tomorrow with a final edition of the contenders.